This is Dr. Alan Watson. I'm an ophthalmologist practicing in Missouri, and we're discussing the growth processes and some of the things associated with growth. Generally, what causes people to grow is they have an epiphyseal growth plate at the end of their bones on both the distal, the end, and the proximal end of the bone. As these individuals mature, that ep epiphyseal growth plate continues to expand and the osteoclasts that are making the bone lay down calcium and that becomes part of the bone matrix and also cartilage and the cartilage becomes the framework for the bone to ossify and what happens in individuals as they mature and usually the, the factors that control these epiphyseal both plate maturation is hormonal and after the sex hormones are in place in these individuals for three to five years the epiphyseal growth plate will start to ossify itself and the cartilage will resorb and that epiphyseal growth plate fuses all just calcified bone and the bone will no longer elongate and grow and that usually will limit the overall size and height and stature of that person when the epiphyseal growth plate seals itself. Children stop growing when their epiphyseal growth plates are sealed and so usually that's about the time they're 18, 19 years of age also. But in some individuals their growth spurt is late and so they may continue to grow in size even at college age, 19, 20, 21 years of age, they'll continue to grow in size. And a lot of that's determined by their genetics and their hormones and their diet also. And this has been Dr. Alan Watson discussing the growth processes that affect both men and women. Thank you.